Hiya folks, my name is Kevin and I'm an Irishman living in Turku, southwestern Finland. Um, I thought I'd do a little video today about doing some cross-country skiing. Um, I've lived in Finland for about 20 years now and took up skiing pretty much when I first moved here. I'm still not very good, uh, but it's a lot of fun and so I thought I'd like to give you a little video today about, um, yeah, just maybe the experience of cross-country skiing. I'm in a beautiful area today, it's called Varniemi. It's uh, basically it's just uh, very large fields, farming fields. They grow wheat here during the summer. Um, but there are some official ski tracks that have been made for skiers and also for people to walk around. Let's do a real quick introduction of my skis and my skiing gear. So basically the underside of the ski is in three parts. If I up again you can see there's a bit of a sole along which has the sticky part on and then there's a top part and the bottom part and these bits uh, are the bit that slide. So the ski itself, I don't know, you probably can't see that on that, but the ski itself isn't actually straight along the bottom. It has a slight camber or curve and that curve or that springiness depends on how heavy you are. Ideally, they are set so that when you put your weight on one foot, that weight is enough to make, make the sticky part stick to the snow when you push off it grips. And then when your weight is off or even when you're standing with your skis evenly, uh, you have a slight gap from there to there and then you're only on the slidey parts and then you can slide quite easily down uh, along the ground. So on the front of my boot basically there's a small iron bar as I mentioned and there's a basically a, a mechanism whereby you push your toe in and it should click and now that now the actual ski is attached to my boot so I'll do the same for the other press in and it should click okay now my skis are on okay and we're off so the general gist of cross-country skiing i can't do the racing style it looks more like ice skating um is we've got pre-made tracks in the snow and as you kind of walk on the skis you press down and push so press and push press and push press and push press and push and the foot that you press with, the opposite foot, goes forward. And then with the sticks, you can use them for balance. Oops, excuse me, the balance, I already fell over. And of course, as you're gliding forward, so like I'm gliding forward, you can use a stick to increase that push forward. So when you're training, and just use my arms quite passively and push with my feet. Push, 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 push. Or then I can very lightly push with my feet and then pull with my arm. Pull, 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 pull. So you get the hang of it after a while. Initially, most people, when they start, they tend to just, just walk on the ski like that, like you normally were walking with long pieces of wood stuck to your feet but the idea is when you push off you try and glide so so it takes a, once you put up a little bit of speed you can glide 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 and glide Uh, Finns can relate to skiing, especially cross-country style, in one or two ways. They absolutely love it, or they absolutely hate it and wouldn't do it unless you paid them. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, for the ones that do like skiing, uh, it's something that they do pretty much all their lives. So, if you go to a famous ski place in uh, 
in Finland, like for example in Lapland, people will spend usually week 8 of February as an actual Hichtoloma or ski holiday and there they'll do downhill skiing or indeed they'll do cross-country skiing but they'll travel all the, the full length of Finland to go there and spend a week there and live in a cabin and ski uh, I guess the people who hate skiing go to Tenerife or something instead I've been lucky enough with my wife's family to go to Lapland several times we've been to Ballas and Ullas and Levi and stayed in the cabin so yeah it's really good to get up in the morning and go and ski all day and then you come home in the evening and you just can eat all around you and go to a nice hot sauna uh, it's a it's a really really good experience and something that I heartily recommend to anybody who ever comes to Finland Winter Blues or SAD Seasonal Affective Disorder is also known as Kamas in Finnish and I do suffer from it or I have done um, primarily from lack of light in the winter if you combine a lack of light with lack of snow then the sun comes up at maybe 9 10 o'clock in the morning and sets again at mm, 2 so you go to work in the dark you're inside all day and you come home in the dark and uh, well that would depress anybody so one of the nicest things about Finnish winter are days like this when yeah you've got lots of snow and the sun shines really brightly and then everybody has a big smile on their face because they're getting all their natural vitamin D okay now I've just gone off track a bit because I want to show how effective skis are in otherwise quite deep snow uh, right here the snow is at least 30 centimeters deep with my skis on I'm going in at most five centimeters ten at most so it's a very effective way of uh, yeah crossing country which is quite deep snow and it's a lot more efficient and you don't sink into it <laughs> 